Hey, it's Tom. Welcome after a long break, which was caused by the fact that I became a father for the second time. And because of that, uh, I didn't have enough time to record new videos. And I also realized that I don't have right now enough time to read as many articles as I was reading in the past and also to read as many books as I was reading in the past. So I thought that some of those articles can be changed into uh, mp3 files and some of those books can be changed into audiobooks. And thanks to Python I can do that and today I want to show you how to do that. So let's jump to the code. Okay, we are in uh, Visual Studio. So today we will use two uh, Python libraries. First one is uh, PDF Plumber. So let's install it. Pip install PDF Plumber. And uh, most of you probably are familiar with PyPDF, PyPDF2, or even PyPDF4, uh, which are great libraries. But the problem with them is that they are very bad at extracting text from PDF. That's why I decided to choose PDF Plumber, which is uh, much better uh, at extracting text. And the second one, uh, because right now we are, we are able to extract text from PDF, we want to change the text, the raw text, into an uh, um, audio file. Um, in our case, it will be MP3 file. So uh, we will use the Google uh, Text to Speech library. So pip install and gtts if i'm correct yes so uh, there are many libraries which are able to change text into audio uh, mm, there is one called pi to text free probably uh, but the quality of produced audio is much worse than this created by google as you probably know google has a lot of data, can train very good models, uh, which are able to uh, create very good audio output. And uh, it's also able to support many languages, which is cool because it also su supports Polish, which is my native language. And uh, so I can also translate uh, articles which are written in my native language. Also, it, it of course uh, supports Spanish, German, and English, of course, as uh, all those libraries. Okay, so right now let's import those libraries PDF Plumber and import GTTS ah, from, sorry, from GTTS import GTTS, Google Text to Speech. Okay, so let's start with an article that I wanted to read but I didn't have enough time and I prepared this article which is uh, copied from uh, wired.com okay it's a uh, whoa it's pretty long uh, but really interesting and uh, worth reading anyway uh, there is a source for for this article if you are interested so we have a variable which contains text and right now what we want to do is to change this text into audio file so let's uh, define the language it's of course English, because why it is written in English. And then we can uh, uh, create a uh, transformation object, which will be GTTS transformer, maybe. Let's call it. And then we create GTTS object, uh, and we provide two variables. One of them is text, which will be our variable called article article and the second is language uh, which will be our English language uh, value then we just have to uh, use this because right the result of uh, this method is uh, already an audio file uh, which is generated by by Google API and then we just have to save that uh, on disk so uh, GTTS transformer, save it locally as maybe wired article mp3. Okay, and then just print it, it's, it was done. So we know. Okay, uh, right now 
we can just uh, run it and uh, article source okay okay it was commented out but uh, I forgot to comment it out in right here so let's run it again okay uh, so translating the text into oh we have some error language uh, oh the, the, the parameter is called actually lang not language okay uh, let's clear the console okay so um, actually mm, changing text into audio is not so uh, long uh, more time from from my per perspective takes to write this uh, mm, audio buffer into a real mm, file on the disk so we have to wait for a moment and it should be ready that's why I added the print because I noticed when I was playing with that in the past that um, it takes some time this article is pretty long so on my MacBook it's 2017 Pro MacBook uh, it takes up, up to 30 seconds to uh, generate it okay <laughs> work is done and uh, right now as you see we have a wired article mp3 so let me uh, play it as dusk fell on the Finnish city of Lati on a still chilly day in May 2016 a crew of workers let themselves into the yard of an empty daycare center underneath the swing I hope you were able to uh, understand that anyway of course it's not as good as being read by the native uh, speaker but uh, as for free tool that you can write in a couple lines of code uh, it's 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 great and it's uh, much better than pi to text pi text to speech uh, library effect okay so i mentioned that at first i wanted to change uh, the articles to audio files but then i thought that i can do the same with the books uh, of course not programming books because there are so many charts and uh, source code examples that it's impossible to translate them into an uh, audio file uh, it's it's just pointless to have an an audiobook but for some books uh, which have which contain mostly text it's a it's a pretty good idea so i downloaded the uh, atomic habits by james clear it's a free uh, pdf book you can download it you can just write atomic habits uh, into google and it will direct you to a james clear website and then you are able to just provide an email and uh, you will get the book anyway uh, there's no affiliation from from my side i just downloaded that because i read that it's pretty good book and i started listening to that and yeah that's really not a bad book maybe not great but it's okay <laughs> okay so let's comment this out and right now let's play with pdf file so uh at first we just have to provide the pdf path so let me copy that from my source file that I prepared before this video and we have variable which contains the um, path to the PDF file and then we just have to uh, create PDF var variable and we call PDF plumber plum PDF plumber open and we provide the PDF path PDF path Okay, right now we have uh, access to PDF uh, file. Uh, the PDF variable contains that and we can extract a particular page. So for our example, let's use page maybe PDF pages uh, 150. Why not? This is pretty long audiobook. Uh, no, we... Pages is, is, an, uh, is a list, so we have to access that with square brackets. Uh, yeah square brackets and then we can extract just text so text uh, variable will contain the page extract text we call this method and we can print this uh, so we can run and check if everything is fine okay one second yeah as you see there are uh, some some spaces uh, which are not necessarily needed right here but the good thing is that the um, GTTS is able to just skip them and uh, 
because there are there are many white spaces and it's reading that normally uh, and is uh, is generating a very good result and uh, then we can for example close the pdf close okay so uh, right now we have a text variable which contains text from particular page uh, we can of course do that in a loop and ge generate a long uh, a very long text uh, based on all pages from the book but in this case let's just extract the text from from one and then we can just actually copy the code from the uh, from the previous example okay gtts transformer we just provide the text instead of article okay and uh, then atomic habits mp3 okay and we can just print the work done to be able to know that uh, it was really done okay actually we can print both of them let's make the console a little bit bigger so we can uh, see what's happening okay and uh, language is not defined okay of course it's an english book so let's run it okay let's wait for the work to be done okay it looks like work is done and we have atomic habits mp3 so maybe Compared let's run it of the brain, modern society is brand new in the last 100 years we have seen the rise of the car the airplane the television the personal computer the internet the smartphone yeah and beyonce the world has changed as you see we are able to generate a uh, audio file based on the text and uh, if we will just run this code in a loop we, we are able to generate a whole audiobook based on the pdf page uh, pdf book okay that's everything what i prepared for you today thank you for watching uh, i hope i will save you some time and uh, enable you to listen maybe more than you are able to read and uh, see you next time bye